The Phrygian scale or the Phrygian mode is exactly the same as our usual natural minor scale. However, it has a lowered second degree. The lowered second degree gives the scale a dark, unnerving, but also exotic sound. A great example of Phrygian in action is Set the Controls for the Heart of the Sun by Pink Floyd. Set the Controls is largely based on E Phrygian. Set the controls for the heart of the sun. Although it occasionally travels to A Phrygian to introduce a sense of contrast. Lotuses lean on each other in yearning. You can hear how Phrygian gives off an elusive, mysterious sort of sound. It has all the bleakness of the minor scale, but thanks to the lowered second degree, Phrygian also comes with an extra streak of darkness. As you can imagine, Phrygian's dark foreboding sound doesn't really suit typical pop music. However, there are various other styles of music where Phrygian makes for a great choice of tonality. For example, many metal songs put the Phrygian scale to good use. The opening guitar riff from Metallica's Wherever I May Roam features that Phrygian lowered second. If Wherever I May Roam didn't use the Phrygian scale, and instead stuck to the natural minor or Aeolian scale, it would sound like this. It still sounds fairly bleak and powerful, but it lacks that darkness, that unnerving Phrygian flavour. The E Phrygian scale also features in the intro to Metallica's Harvester of Sorrow. Here are a few more examples of Phrygian used in rock songs. Listen in particular for when the songs reach that lowered second degree, that Phrygian note. Another style of music where Phrygian often feels quite at home is hip-hop. For example, Snoop Dogg's Gin and Juice is in F Phrygian. The whole song is based on this two chord Phrygian vamp between F minor, the tonic chord, and E flat minor, which features that distinctive Phrygian note, the G flat. G flat also appears in the song's chorus melody. Phrygian gives this song an unsettled, almost intimidating sound. Humble by Kendrick Lamar also makes use of Phrygian's intimidating sound. Humble is based on a repeating one bar piano riff, which prominently features Phrygian's lowered second degree. I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances, but Nessa with some counterfeits, but now I'm counting this. If Humble instead used the unaltered second degree of the natural minor scale, it would sound like this. I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances, but Nessa with some counterfeits, but now I'm counting this. As you can hear, because Humble is such a minimalist song, changing just one scale degree massively changes the feel and tonality of the music. Here are a few more examples of hip hop and R&B songs that use the Phrygian scale. Once again, I've labelled the all important Phrygian lowered second, which is the note that introduces that dark Phrygian quality.
Now, of course, what I haven't mentioned so far is that Phrygian is a mode. A mode is when you take a scale, like the major scale, but treat a different note as the tonic, as the root of the scale. By changing which note of the scale you treat as the tonic note, it transforms the sound of the scale. Phrygian is the third mode of the major scale. So, for example, all of the notes of Set the Controls main melody and chord progression fit into C major. However, Set the Controls doesn't treat C as its tonic note, as its point of resolution. It treats E as its tonic note. As you will hear, if I drone an E note over the top of Set the Controls, it will sound fully at rest because E is the tonic note. If I instead drone a C note, it will sound unsettled and unresolved. Because even though the notes that the song are using all fit into C major, the tonic note isn't C. So Set the Controls for the Heart of the Sun uses all of the notes of the C major scale, however treats E as the root, as the tonic note. Therefore, Set the Controls is an E Phrygian. Many songs that feature the Phrygian scale won't necessarily stick to it for the entire duration of the song. This is because the lowered second degree of the Phrygian scale makes it harder to get a sense of resolution or cadence. For example, London Calling by The Clash is largely based on the Phrygian mode, with the distinctive lowered second often making appearances in the chord progression. However, at the end of the chorus, when we get the main hook, we get this D major chord. D major doesn't belong in E Phrygian, as it contains the unaltered second degree, the F sharp. However, by using D major instead of Phrygian's D minor, we get a far more satisfying resolution to finish off the chorus. If the song did stick 100% to Phrygian, and therefore used a D minor here instead of a D major, it would sound like this. As you can hear, the D minor provides a much weaker resolution back to the E minor. D major resolving to E minor is a far more satisfying resolution, as the F sharp of the D major chord really wants to resolve up the semitone onto the third of the E minor chord, the G. With D minor moving to E minor, the F sharp has now been lowered down to an F natural, doubling the distance the note has to travel to get up to the third of the E minor chord. So we no longer have that strong sense of pulling up to the E minor chord. In the West, we often think about Phrygian as having an exotic, sort of Middle Eastern sound. And this is because Phrygian's distinctive lowered second is quite commonly used in Arabic music. However, to say that Arabic music uses the Phrygian mode is slightly inaccurate. And this is because when the lowered second is used in Arabic music, it's not necessarily lowered by a definitive amount. It's not necessarily going to map onto our 12 tone system that we use in the West. The amount by which the second degree of the scale is lowered can vary not only within the same piece of music, but across different styles of music. For example, the song Hadi Kedba Baina by Moroccan singer Najet Atabou features this lowered second degree in its main melody. <laughs> However, as you may have noticed, these aren't regular flat symbols here. These are half flats. Unlike the Western Phrygian scale that lowers the second degree by a semitone, in this song, the second degree has only been lowered by roughly half a semitone, what we could call a quarter tone. This achieves a sound close to our Phrygian scale, but with a slight difference, a microtonal quality to it. Also, if you recognise this song, it's probably because it was sampled by the Chemical Brothers in 2004 for their hit Galvanise. <laughs> A song that is often incorrectly cited as being Phrygian is Missaloo. The best known version of Missaloo is Dick Dale's 1962 surf rock version. However, the song began as an Arabic folk song 
with the earliest known version recorded in 1927. The reason Missaloo is often mistakenly described as Phrygian is that it's based on a very similar scale to Phrygian, the double harmonic scale, or what is known in the Arab world as Hijaz Kar. This scale has a similar exotic flavour to Phrygian because it also features that distinctive lowered second, the Phrygian note. However, the double harmonic scale differs from Phrygian by having a major third rather than a minor third, and double harmonic seventh degree has not been lowered like it would be in Phrygian. Another scale which is often confused with Phrygian is Phrygian dominant. As the name suggests, this scale is very closely related to Phrygian. In fact, it's exactly the same apart from it features a major third rather than a minor third. So you could think of Phrygian dominant as Phrygian major. An example of Phrygian dominant in action is the opening of White Rabbit by Jefferson Airplane. The opening of White Rabbit sort of swings between Phrygian and Phrygian dominant by switching whether it's using the major or minor third. On the first occasion in the song that we hear the third, it's the minor third, initially setting us in a regular Phrygian sound. But then only a few bars later, the guitar lands quite prominently on the major third instead, switching us into a Phrygian dominant sound. Another song that blends Phrygian and Phrygian dominant is Radiohead's Pyramid Song. In any given line of Pyramid Song, we will find both moments of Phrygian dominant with its major third, as seen in this F sharp major chord, and moments of just normal Phrygian with its minor third, as seen in this A6 chord. There are even moments in Pyramid Song where we momentarily leave Phrygian entirely and switch to Aeolian instead. This is thanks to this E major add 9 chord, which contains Aeolian's unaltered second degree. The blending of Phrygian, Phrygian dominant and Aeolian results in a kaleidoscopic sound that washes between different flavours and colours. Sometimes, whether or not a song is in Phrygian can actually be, to a certain extent, subjective. Like we discussed earlier, modes like Phrygian take the notes of a given scale like the major scale, but treat a different note as the tonic. So for example, the only differences between A flat major and C Phrygian is which note they treat as the tonic. They both use the exact same notes in the exact same order. However, what if the song doesn't actually make it clear which note is the tonic? New Person Say Mistakes by Tame and Parlor definitely uses all of the notes of the A flat major scale. However, I hear the tonic note to be C, not A flat. So to me, New Person Same Mistakes is in C Phrygian. However, some other people I've asked about this instead hear A flat as the tonic note, and therefore they are perceiving this song to be in A flat major, not C Phrygian. Because modes share their notes with other scales, if the music doesn't make the tonic note unambiguously clear, then different listeners may hear the same song in a different tonal context. Now, this doesn't really matter, of course. The song is still the exact same notes in the exact same arrangement, so the song ultimately sounds the same. It's just the tonal context that's changing, and if anything, this sort of contributes to the sound of the song. The ambiguity of the tonic note is part of what gives modal music its sound. Of course, do let me know in the comments whether you hear this song in C Phrygian or A flat major. It will be really interesting to see if there's a consensus.
I'll leave you today with this piece that I've composed that stays 100% within the E Phrygian scale, which on the piano means it's all of the white notes, but with E as the tonic note. If you can think of any other pieces of music that use the Phrygian mode, then do let me know in the comments below. And thanks as always to everyone who supports me on Patreon, including all of the names you see on screen right now, and Andre Sainz-Diaja, Andy Deacon, Andrew, Andrew Brown, Andrew Sussman, Austin Barrett, Austin Russell, Bob McKinstry, Brittany Parker, Cameron Orvilla, Colin Aiken, Chris Cabell, Christopher Ryan, David Rivers, Donald Howard, Dr. Darren Wicks, Elena Skorchenko, Espen Hansen, Eugene Leroy, F.D. Hodor, Greg Kabovsky, Guillermo Latona, Hamish Brocklebank, Heinrich Kutcher, Hugo Miller, James Kao, J.A. Kokensparger, John Dye, Josh Sandlin, Justin Vigger, Lee Lauritsen, Mark Ziegenhagen, Max O'Keefe, Melody Composer Squared, Melanie Shonat, Michael Vivian, Nancy Gillard, Nathan Lawrence, Nathaniel Park, Paul Muller, Paul Paisel, Peter Dumphy, Richard Pride, Roger Clay, Sam Lynn, Sean Kennedy, Steve Daly, Stephen Lazaro, Tim Beaker, Toma Aharoni, Trisha Adams, Tim Payne, Victor Levy, Vidad Flowers, Vladimir Kodakov, and Volti.